Good morning, fam. What's going on, squad? It's our last day in Utah, and I don't really want to leave. <laughs> I don't know. I heard Florida was still hot and gross. And as you can see, <sighs> we're it's enjoying the cold weather. Beautiful here. Babe, what are we doing today? Last day. Yeah. We're heading to Park City. Woo! We're gonna go see some of the Olympic sites. Yeah, the Olympics were held here in 2002, so we're gonna go check that out. Um, and then we're gonna head the other way and go back to Antelope Island, right? Yeah, we're gonna head over to Antelope Island, try to see the Great Salt Lake while we're there. Yeah. Probably catch some photos of some bison or buffalo. Yeah, I wanna see some wildlife for sure. Should be good. What we didn't tell you is yesterday we had a day full of adventure. Yeah. We oh went to God. the Bonneville Salt Flats, that which were- That was so cool. Sorry, No, no, you, you're babe. cool. It was, was so just exciting. Say, they were amazing. <laughs> it was so exciting, you guys. There's we no did. speed limit. There's nobody governing it. No. Like yeah. you can do what you want to do, how you want to do, where you want to do it there. Yeah. At your own risk. Most of the people are just trying to fight the wind. It was like this. I've never been anywhere that windy in my life. Oh, it was so it was fun out there. Um, and then you could feel all the salt all over your face. So it's like a good exfoliator as yeah. well. Um, I protected first. <laughs> I put a bunch of lotion on because I was really worried. But then we got back in the car and you're like licking your lips. Everything tastes salty. It was net so. Then after that, we were like 10 minutes from the border of Nevada. <laughs> Don't judge us. Guess we drove we to did. Nevada and went to a casino and did some gambling. <laughs> of course we did. We won some money. We lost some money. We had a great time. Had a good lunch. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about the experiences. That's it. So, like we mentioned, we're heading to Park City now. So, we'll catch you on the flip side. Let's go. All right. Woo! All right, guys, so they have a bobsled experience that's $175 per person. Yeah. If you come during the summer, apparently it's cheaper. And then they have a sports simulator. We're going to do the mountain sports simulator. Mm -hmm. How exciting. Let's go. Off to the museum. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. So we just did the sports simulator. Yeah, you get four different rides for like 25 bucks. Yeah. Totally worth it. Um, and you're basically on a lift. Uh -huh. And then you're watching the movie depending on what sport you chose. So which one did you like the best? My favorite was bobsledding. Yeah. I'm a natural. <laughs> I got to... Yeah, we were going left, right, right. left. <laughs> Right, straight. Like in, when they were in the bathtub, you guys, you yeah. get it. Um, and then, but my favorite was the one before that. It's called speed flying, and you have a parasail, but you're on skis, and then you just like jump off the side of a cliff. It's insane. It's beautiful. It reminded me of like a Disney ride. Can't believe people actually do that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying the whole time. Wait, people do this? That was fun. Totally worth it. All right, Two guys. thumbs up. Two thumbs up. On to the next. Puppets and masks from the opening ceremony of the Olympics. It's so cool to be this close to it. Look how huge it is. So the designer of them is Emmy Award winning designer Michael Curry. between the four of us, loser buys lunch. Guess who buys lunch? I left my wallet at home. Oh, so that means I buy lunch, great. By default, damn it. We're in Park City, the home of Sundance. So fun. Just how 
happened. They just had lunch. And then what? And we got up and left. And then what? And I left the camera. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Shame. Shame. Park City is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But make sure you bring your pocketbook when you come here. Because it is not cheap. Finally made it out to Antelope Island. Saw first bisons. That was pretty cool. And now we're walking on the beach. Basically got it to ourselves. Social distancing at its finest. It's beautiful out here. So Antelope Island is surrounded by the Great Salt Lake. And in the 1800s, there were 12 bison out here um, and now there's hundreds they do a roundup once a year and they try to keep the ecosystem safe so once a year they'll sell some of those extra bison um, but they still keep hundreds of them here they kind of have the place to themselves a couple campers here and there um, but this place is really all theirs it's so pretty so we were just talking about potentially camping out here. Yeah. Tony Marie is a little hesitant right now. I just think that if the bison roam free, they might roam free right into our campsite. And then what? I'm not taking on a bison. I'm thinking potentially RV camping. Yeah, so at least you would be a little bit protected, I guess. But it could still mess up your RV. It Quick. could. But Quick. <laughs> that's not how bisons operate. Oh, you would know. He's from Buffalo, you guys. Those are my people. So what do you guys think? Leave in the <laughs> comments below. Would you camp in a place like this mm. where there are bisons roaming free? No other animal aside from bison, antelope, and a few deer. <sighs> Squad. It's beautiful out here. We finally made it to the lake. Yeah. It's like a mirage situation where the water looked a lot closer than it was. This is the Great Salt Lake. It's massive. It's salty. Yeah. <laughs> Well, speaking of salty, tell them what you learned about it. Well, I learned that the salinity is so high that there's really not any fish in the Salt Lake. There are some shrimp and there um, is some algae that grows. So birds migrate here pretty often. But other than that, not a good fishing spot. But I'll tell you what, some salty shrimp. Yeah. Put a little butter on those bad boys. You shrimp lovers might like it. I still won't like it. No matter where you're standing, no matter what you're looking at, the views are phenomenal. You're either looking at ice-capped mountains, you're looking at water for as far as the eye can see, you've got mountains off in the distance, you've got buffaloes and bisons roaming, Antelope Island. Who would have thunk? Can you see the wing? I have my, my, hold on. They're tinted, so I don't know if you can see that. Let's see what this girl is made out of. You ready, Sam? This city girl. Well, wait, there's sand right there. I guess I'll aim higher. Set me up for failure. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. That's, I just throw a rock. I didn't skip a rock. I just <laughs> Alright guys. Time to explore Antelope Island some more. People coming. Mask on. Glasses on. Let's go. You okay? I'm gonna help you up.
Well, guys. You see what's happening behind us. <laughs> we can't top that. No, let's just wrap it up now. Yeah. So guys, if you haven't already, please do us a favor, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Ring the notification bell. Ding! Destination Nation. From Salt Lake City, Antelope Island. We out. We out.